making some Miss Lusters. We're going to try and prove or disprove common myths. But first, let's introduce everybody. My name is Brenda. Kieran. Tegan. Julian. Oliver. Bonnie. Sonic. Kieran.
Okay, now, over here. Look, 6.44 volts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those things in series. And we've got 6.44 volts. However, let's now try the LED again. Let's try this dim little sucker. We might be able to get a decent glow out of this. We might not, too. Might not be any different. Because the amount of energy that a single piece of fruit can produce is pretty small. When they discovered the effect of an acid and two dissimilar metals producing a battery, there we go. Look, now we can see it's a little brighter. Have a look. Okay, you can now see it without me having to shield it too much. Okay. See, it's a little brighter. The torch light is, is the most solid energy. You would have needed 500 lemons to power it. At least around 500. Any, any clues as to why they can produce electricity? An acid helps the battery. electrons very easily. Copper being one. Some metals don't give up electrons very easily. Some in fact swallow electrons. So if electrons leave the copper and go towards the zinc, then we have electrons moving. And it is the acid is what helps the electrons to move from one metal to the other. And once it's moved from one metal to the other, if we complete an electrical circuit around the outside, then we have electrons flowing. What is electricity? So electrons on the move. We looked into the myth that a lemon will power fly a flight. And it's busted. But it will light an LED. And remember, but folks, do you try, try this at home.